Hello! We are so excited to share the story of Ada and the Helpers. Story by Travis D. Peterson. Pictures by Melissa Fisher. This story will be told in American Sign Language, which means some of the characters will be described using depiction instead of narration. Please enjoy. Ada is a clever fox who's learning how to dance. She tiptoes, skips, and spins around each time she has the chance. One more thing that you should know about this fox so bright is even though she loves to dance, she cannot hear quite right. Yes, it's true. This fox is deaf, but as you can clearly see, she uses special ears to hear and wears them faithfully. When she was a little cub, still wobbly in the knees, her mom and dad gave her new ears that run on batteries. Soon she learned what music was, and it is safe to say that any time they played a tune, she danced and shouted, Yay! Ada's parents were so proud and saw this as a sign. They told her of a talent show where she could really shine. Will the others laugh at me? The young fox asked with dread. Her mom and dad then held her close and lifted up her head. Mama said, Now listen, cub, your ears are helping you. Let's call them helpers, Daddy said. And let's help others too. Ada left their forest home then danced the path she graced with helpers tucked behind her ears and a tutu round her waist. As she paid attention to the noises far and near, her helpers introduced to her a whole new world to hear. She danced to every sound that came from crickets, toads, and bees.
she swayed along to music from the leaves up in the trees. As she hummed a little tune and spun her along the trail, a mole collided with the fox and knocked her on her tail. Oh, he moaned and waved his paws. Oh, oh, what can I say? I can't see well when it's so bright and must have lost my way. Oh, that's okay, the fox replied. I see you are a mole. Perhaps with your big paws. You might be better in a hole. My, oh my, cried out the mole. You're quite a clever one. I'll quickly dig a tunnel down and stay out of the sun. Thank you for your help, he said. I'm so glad I met you. You're welcome, Ada smiled and said. Now let's help others too. Ada led her new friend toward the talent show in town. Along the way, they met a finch who wore an awful frown. Ee! 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 shrieked out the bird. How can this be? I, I stutter s s so much. Don't you both agree? What a striking bird you are, with gold beneath your wing. The fox then grinned and asked the finch, Please show us how you sing. So the finch began to sing and fluttered through the wood. She sang and flew from here to there as graceful as she could. Thank you for your help. She sang, I'm so glad I met you. You're welcome, Ada smiled and said, Now let's help others too. Three new friends continued on, but stopped mid-skip to stare. Along the path, they saw a snake whose neck stretched in the air. Don't be scared, assured the snake. I snack on tasty fruit. There's apples in the tree. You see, but I can't reach the loot. Paws and wings are helpful things, the fox said gratefully. You may have tried it once before, but can you climb the tree? So he slithered up the tree and gave it three good knocks. An apple turned, tumbled from its branch, and landed by the fox. Thank you for your help, he hissed. I'm so glad I met you. You're welcome, Ada smiled and said. Now let's help others too. Now the four approached the town. But Ada froze in fear. The talent show's about to start. Uh, will they all laugh and jeer? It's still hard for me to hear. I need to listen well. 
I'm glad I have these helpers on. I need each decibel. Her new friends gave her a smile. They knew just what to do. You've helped each one of us somehow. Now we can help you too. So then it was Ada's turn for help she would receive. But what these creatures manage next, you really won't believe. Ada moved from side to side with rhythm in her feet. And with the hiss, the snake began to tap a funky beat. As the fox began to kick, the mole then joined the pair. He scratched the dirt with his big paws and pointed in the air. Next, the finch flew back and forth as fast as she could go. She sang a tune in perfect pitch while Ada danced below. As her friends supported her, the fox did her routine. Her break dance was the best of all the crowd had ever seen. Ada spun around the floor and flipped up on her hands, then spiraled like a maple seed for her adoring fans. As the song came to an end, the crowd was loudest yet. The claps and cheers to Ada's ears were sounds she won't forget. Thank you for your help, she said. I'm so glad I met you. Her friends all laughed and then replied, hey, now let's help others too.